Okay, hi, it's Jen again. Um, somebody also wanted to see how I prepared used tea bags for a little um, small journal that you would add to a junk journal. Um, I just, you know, I save everything, <laughs> and I'm not lying when I say that. And I usually find some way to reuse it, um, and I really enjoy doing that, making something out of nothing. So, I save tea bags. Here's my used tea bags. Actually, these are from my daughter-in-law, because I don't drink that much tea, and she does. And I just have her hang them up and dry them out, and I get these nice little wrinkly tea bags. And she also saves the little wrappers they came in which work out great for pockets inside your journal so um save the tea bags um here's one that i already took apart and it's a very thin papery substance uh, you got to be gentle with it because it is fragile it will tear uh this one was totally ruined by the time i got it apart so i just uh did some Mod Podge and stuck it on a book page, and uh, I'm letting that dry right now, and then I'll I'll tear, you know, around the edges of the book page and uh, go ahead and I'll still use it. I mean, it's got good uh, texture, and um, you know, you can always find somewhere to put something like that. But basically, you just take your tea bag, and there's a little teeny tiny. Um, staple up here which is sometimes difficult to get out and I got a little staple puller but this is more for a standard size staple but actually however it did work sometimes I have to pry it out with scissors and this is the string and the tag and save these I save those too and use them for something else so you just gently start to take the tea bag apart and some of them are easier to work with than others. Some of them, you know, have been used harder than others, so they're more delicate. You just open it up all the way from top to bottom and let all the tea come out. I do not save the used tea. That's something I actually do throw away. And then, um, uh, you just kind of gently, you know, work all the all the dried tea out of there you can kind of take your hands together and act like you're like you would do if you were washing your hands and you just kind of rub it and it's all dry so it'll eventually you know all of it will come off and then you have this lovely piece of tea bag fabric i don't even know what you call it and uh, all your dried tea is on here, which you just take and toss in the garbage can, which is under your desk. This is how it should be. <laughs> now, if you don't have a garbage can under your desk, then I wouldn't do that. So, anyway, after you get five or six of these taken apart, um, you know, you can just put them together just like you would any other kind of paper or sometimes I add something in between just because these are so fragile um, that you know you're gonna have to have something to give it a little stability and then I fold them over or you know I do different things with them but for the sake of this I'm just gonna you know I'll fold them in half I will take my sewing machine and run a stitch down them and then you will have like all these little tiny pages and they will you know take stamping if you write on them you have to be careful because like I said they are delicate and if you press too hard you're gonna go right through them but like if you take here's here's bunny bunny's gonna be my demonstrator and uh, you just put put some ink on it and then you bring it over here and you push down on your tea bag paper and you have a wonderful picture of bunny and then you know you so you could stamp you could 
um, do um, napkin decoupage. You know, you could do a lot of things on these. And then, you know, take anything, whatever you have. This happens to be a Tsunami Rose uh, printout. And, you know, something that's sturdier. And then you can just fold it. And that could be like, you know, your... Um, you know, the, the cover to make your little journal. So, you know, I mean, it's basically not much of anything, but, you know, somebody had seen one that I had done, and I already uh, mailed that one in a journal that I sold, so I couldn't bring it back and show it to you. So I was just showing you what I did to create that journal and, you know, how you can do it if you want to, if you save your tea bags. And get a bunny stamp, and then you can have the same kind of book that I have right here. So um, that's all. I just wanted to answer somebody's questions, and um, I hope you have a great day, and save your tea bags. Okay, thanks. Bye.